Masplas Mouldings have just invested in this Joe Mars machine from Eurospark and they have ticked every single specification that they were after and they're making much finer work more accurately, more consistently. John, I've walked into your machine shop and you're buzzing about this machine. But first, before we find out exactly what it's doing for you, what do Masplas Mouldings do? Uh, we're a family-owned injection moulding business established over 30 years. And we bought our tool making business uh, in-house over the last two or three years. So we've been adding to the equipment. And this is the next stage in improving our process for making all the tools in-house. And so why did you choose this model and what were you doing before that this is ultimately combating? Uh, the EDM machine we had before was fine for doing most of the work but we were struggling on small intricate features and also it, we tend to do a lot of work where we sample the tool, we deliberately make it undersized so then we can measure the component and just tweak the cavities to get the tolerances well within spec and normally that would mean having to remake the electrode but with the new machine we've opted to have the Orbicut edition which means then we can just do very small increases using the original ele electrodes. He had the budget and he wanted to get as much equipment on the machine as he could for the budget he had to spend. So we came up with his configuration here with a, a tooling system which is universal for any electrode with the pallets that are used on it. Uh, an option which could be fitted onto the pallet system as, as and when he required it. It can either be stand on there as permanently or he can take it off to put a, a different pallet, longer electrodes, etc., in order to maintain the height. So it means we can machine these on our uh, three axis mill, the ele all the electrodes in copper or graphite, and then literally just take them out the mill, put them into the pallet holder and we are completely sure that it's datumed, it's on centre, it's, we don't have to clock it up or anything. It saves a hell of amount of time on the toolmaker having to reset datums um, and reference points. And so tell me exactly about that example you've just picked up because the shaping of that is quite unusual. So what were you doing before and how has this helped? That's right, that's the electrode we used to type we used to use before to put in the subgate, which we always have gates of less than a millimetre in diameter and it was very difficult to start that electrode off with the older type EDM. It just hadn't got the finesse or the control and it would mean the toolmaker would have to spend quite a bit of time manually working it to get it to operate. Whereas now we use a, a newer straight conical electrode and with the fuzzy logic we can pretty much start it off and away it goes and it just works itself out and just carries on. So that's saved a lot of time for us and it also means the electrodes last much longer. And your toolmaker is so happy with this machine. What, why is that? Uh, mainly because it takes a lot of the pressure off with the fuzzy logic we've got now. Um, for doing the small intricate parts, you don't get as much arcing out. The machine's taking care of a lot of the, the, day, the sort of minute by minute setting, so we can sort of switch it on, set it, and get on with another job then. The benefits of the fuzzy control is the operator selects how much amps he wants to use per size of electrode. He selects it on the, on the control panel here, and the fuzzy takes care of all the settings, on times, off times, gap voltage, etc. Uh, generally on a lot of the bigger cavity work you can't do it during the day it would take more than eight hours and we before we were always a bit reluctant to leave them running overnight because you've got a flammable liquid in the tank whereas now we've spec'd it up with fire suppressant and a small camera so in the event that you do have a problem with the, the, the fluid can, um, in catching fire it will put the fire out so you've got the confidence you can leave it going, finish the job overnight without having to worry um, about anything going wrong. The benefits of uh, 322 is uh, the footprint the machine takes up. Obviously within Masplast, it's got a floor space issue with the machines that they've got that are CNC controlled. This fits into an envelope which is more manageable. 
Um, it's got a 300 by 200 by 200 on the uh, movements, which is a quite a flexible for the size of parts and moulds that they are producing. So, John, the Joe Mars 322, what, what, what is this machine ultimately doing for you? It's making our life a lot easier. We can just put the electrode in, watch it start up and then walk away. Whereas the EDM machine we had before was a lot older, it would mean the toolmaker would have to spend a lot more time actually by the machine, watching it, checking it wasn't arcing out. So it's saving us a lot of time there. And for the, for the budget that we had, it ticked all the boxes. Uh, most of our moulds are single impression, so we're not doing multi-cavity work. We don't really need a CNC EDM machine. Um, and for the, for the money we paid for it, it does everything that we do really well. And it gives time for our tool maker to get on with other more manual work. And why did you go to Eurospark again? Because we initially dealt with Eurospark buying two second-hand machines and they sort of held our hand and got us going and we had no problem with the backup and service. So it was a logical step when we were looking for a new EDM machine to approach them first. They've always done us well and uh, we'd like to keep that relationship going.